Hey, thank you for reviewing my video. Uh, today I'm going to be demoing the Fender Telecoustic guitar. Uh, this guitar is very uh, unique. Um, it's it's a very uh, interesting guitar, to say the least. But this guitar is uh, targeted for those who are electric players who want to switch over to do some more acoustic work. Um, mainly because it's a very thin bodied acoustic guitar and it has an electric neck on it. Um, this guitar uh, has a Fishman preamp built into it with a battery box right here. Uh, you push the button for the tuner. It's got a three band EQ and a master volume input jack. This is a rosewood saddle here. Um, it's got a bolt on neck. These are recessed, so they're you know they're in there a little bit. Uh, so there's no neck plate. Um, it's a three inch body on it with single binding with a black uh, laminated spruce top. It's got X bracing on the inside of it, uh, 21 frets with a modern C-shaped neck, very comfortable to play, uh, and it sounds great. It's got die-cast tuners on it. Uh, you know, it just it sounds really good. Right now I'm running it straight into my Fishman Loudbox Mini. Uh, it's a 60 watt uh, two channel amp and I'm actually running my microphone into that as well. Um, and I'm running DI out from the amp straight into my soundboard and then straight into the video interface. So uh, audio interface for the video. So I just wanted to share with you this uh, this guitar here. It's, it's very special to me. Um, my brother actually bought this for me. Tim got this for me for uh, Christmas. This coming Christmas. Um, he's uh, away right now and uh, doing wonderful things with the U.S. Army. So uh, he uh, wanted to get me something for Christmas and he got me this guitar. I've wanted one for many years and now I have one. And this is uh, probably the only standard, or not standard, but the only acoustic guitar really that I would play. Um, I have a uh, Dreadnought uh, really, Jasmine. or a Jasmine Vatakamini, really a uh, low end guitar you know um, and this is a step up from that and then I've got a Carvin uh, custom built AE185 acoustic electric is really cool and that's the one I normally play um, let's get to some more tones here let's go to some, to some finger picking <laughs> It's a great sounding guitar. It's it's very reliable. Uh, it uh, the the best part about this perhaps is how much like an electric it feels like, but it sounds just like an acoustic because it's hollow. Uh, it's got a great acoustic uh, pickup in it. Um, perhaps the only critique that I would have is the tuners aren't quite as good as some of the other tuners that come on Fender guitars. Uh, so sometimes I have a hard time keeping it in tune. Uh, strings have a lot to do with it too. You know, the fresher the strings are, the easier they are to stay in tune after they've been fully stretched and everything, of course, in my opinion. Um, and it is kind of, it's, it's not balanced right, in my opinion. The neck is heavy, so it kind of has a tendency to dip. It's a very lightweight guitar. It weighs next to nothing. And it's easy for me to keep it steady because I usually balance it with my uh, right arm while I'm strumming. And uh, even when I'm wearing a strap, I'm usually playing it anyways, holding it with two hands or one hand in my forearm, rather. So I really don't have a problem with it. Some people might. I don't know. But it's a great guitar. I would definitely recommend it. And you should check out anything Fender because I love Fender. Fender is awesome. And uh, tune in to see what else I've got for you. Thank you.